hello and welcome back to my channel so this week we're gonna go back to the parcel of small stones from Cooper PD that I got and uh, I've got something quite nice today I mean if you've already seen the thumbnail it you, you already have an idea so this is the stone and I want to clear it on this side and also also check if there is actually a crack here I think there might be which would be bad because well there's some color you know But this is the side that's very nice. Uh, there's especially an angle or two that are there. This one is amazing. So it's extremely small. You can you can tell, you can guess. It's probably already at 0.8 carat. But I think there's not so much waste. Uh, I need. I just need to tidy this up. Check it here check if I can remove the thing and it's gonna and if it works it could be a half a carat stone but with as a crystal with great color could be worth still a good uh, 60 70 Australian dollars which would be very very nice so I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it and hope for the best because that color is great not so not so because it's not so thick even though it's very clear you don't have uh, as much depth of color that, as you would like and also the best angle is this one which is a bit directional but we'll see what can be done you know so I'll come back to you shortly. Return, and this is the stone as it stands right now. So I actually removed this whole part because of the um, <clears throat> because of sand. So you might think that there's not that it's not so great anymore, but actually I still get quite a nice bit of color. Uh, in a, I, I don't know, maybe flagstone pattern. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe flagstone, maybe floral. Either way, it's pretty good. That was actually the side that was hidden. Um, so it turns out it has great color as well. And this is the, uh, what was the, the side with the hole. It still has the hole. And I'm very concerned about trying to remove all of the hole because it goes quite deep. Um, you can see it's it's quite significant and then this becomes very thin um, so I'm I'm kind of thinking of keeping it like this more or less um, in terms of the back and uh, probably just do the setting edge um, as best as I can uh, let's add some water again. Oop. So I'm I'm probably gonna just make it a rectangle because at this size I'm I'm gonna be struggling to actually shape it uh, very well, and it's small enough that any anything that removes um, that removes size is is very significant. I'm, uh, I must say I'm quite happy with this stone, uh, especially on the, that kind of background. If I put it on a darker background, there is a, there be color there, a lot of color. So I'm, I'm quite happy. I'm going to finish it and I will come back but I think we can already guess this one is gonna be a win and I am back with the finished stone so I went as much as I could but really this is never coming out this is just a hole that we have to live with right now uh, it's I mean it's Pretty nice. It's a crystal. I wouldn't say it's a top crystal, but I would say it's a 
two thirds of the way of, of the way up crystal, especially if, if you look at this angle, is just magnificent. Um, and then you turn it, so it's really just actually when it's kind of facing straight, it's probably its worst. And actually, I think there's also a tiny. Actually, no, there's no imperfection. It's just how it hits uh, with the back that makes it looks a bit uh, strange here. But yeah, I would say it's it's very cool. It's just a shame it's small, and then you have to consider right now it's not on it's not on anything. You know, uh, if I put this right under you can see even more the color I think uh, so I would probably use that as inlay because of the size and how it looks when you have the color behind but that's up to whoever is gonna fit it uh, I haven't weighted it yet so we'll do that I I mean Honestly, I would probably put it at a um, hundred a carat, maybe. Uh, I just because it's it's a it's really good crystal, but you have some you have, because of the back. I would say you need to reduce the value and. I'm also not the biggest fan of the cut I've done, but since it's so small, it's impossible to work properly. So let's wait it. Zero point three carats, so thirty Australian dollars. Uh, I'm, I will be absolutely honest, I don't think anybody would buy it uh, like that just because it's very small, it's not such a catchy piece, uh, so to speak, for buyers. It's more of a, um, I think it's more something that might be sold in, a, in an expo or I think, uh, I, you know, we say I have $30 on it, I think you also put... You put it in forty dollars of uh, I don't know I don't know the price of silver. You put it in a regular ring that might cost you twenty five thirty dollars. So you're up to eh, sixty dollars, let's say. And I'm pretty sure you get a ring you can sell for a hundred, hundred twenty, uh, quite easily. But I don't think any jeweler would buy the piece like that just because of its size. So, yeah, uh, that's going to be it for this week. I'm quite I'm quite satisfied. I didn't have so much hope despite the shininess. I thought I was going to lose its thickness, but it's, it's there. So I will end it here. Uh, I... Don't know what I'm going to do next week, probably, most likely from the same parcel. Um, hopefully with results as good as this, maybe a bit bigger would be better. Uh, uh, so as always, feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe, all those fancy things. And I will see you in the next one.